I feel like I don't want to regard myself as a fan. I'd rather be the one who's worshipped. Worshipped or blamed. I think at the end of the day, probably both. I wrote The Eighth Doctor, played by Paul McGann. It's a bit of a responsibility, I think, that we have. You know, stories are powerful. Mythologies are powerful. My job was to write a TV movie pilot with the hope that it would spawn a new American Doctor Who series. The American fans, they are the diehards. There's a whole community of people that do this. They love this thing that society says you shouldn't love as much as you do. I didn't go to conventions for a very good reason. Be nice. I thought the fans would kill me. The doctor being half human, please punch me in the face. People universally went after the script. I got physically assaulted by someone who was so angry at the idea that the doctor would kiss. No sex, please. He's Matthew Jacobs. My father was an actor. He was in an early Doctor Who adventure called The Gunfighters. It'd be fantastic on The Gunfighters, because you're going to go back to your boyhood memories. I really don't want to do The Gunfighters panel. It's freaking me out. I was pouring myself into that character. I got so close. And then I got left behind. Maybe I'm regenerating. Doctor Who has helped a lot of people find who they are. This is a giant family, and it's full of love. Woo! The sense of community and companionship. That's what I enjoy the most about. You go for the fans. You're a part of this now. I think at the end of the day, I'm a bigger fan than I knew. At some point or other in our lives, we all ask the same question. Who am I? <laughs>